Hey guys, this is Ozzy for Day 76 and welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars 2013 set review. Um, today I'm going to show you this one. It is ages 7 to 12, set number 75016, the homing spider droid. Um, this is based off, well, Star Wars, um, the Clone Wars, um, and I think also episode 2, somewhere around there. I think so. It has 295 pieces, retailed for $49.99, so $50 here in Australia. Has four minifigs, very cool. And so let's get started. We get one exclusive minifig. Here's the side of your box. Here's the rest of your final box. It's quite long, this box. Um, and yeah, so that is the rest of the box. So, very cool. And these are all your spare pieces that you get with the set. And one's rolled away. And with the yes. set, you get one instruction booklet. And it's not that long, not too thick. Here are all the 2013 sets, or majority of them. Uh, pieces page, one, two. And this one has 47 pages. And nine steps according from here. Got 15 here. So it depends on what bit it is inside the book. So yeah. Okay, so let's get started with our close up. And we get four minifigs. And this is our brand new minifigure. And so let's get started. Um, so this is, if I can pronounce it right, uh, Staz Alley. Staz Alley. Staz Alley. And she's a new Jedi, and based on the Clone Wars, she's got a green lightsaber, a cool hairpiece, and Jedi uniform, torso. And she looks very cool. She's got a rubbery headpiece. And that is her face. And very cool. That's her headpiece. So that is very cool. Next we've got a clone trooper. With his very awesome gun he's got here. Just two pieces. This um, uh, kind of new piece. And the rifle. So that's nice. A uh, nice torso. Samo, Samo. With a cl uh, clone trooper. Instead you get a new... Um, face, so that's pretty cool. And last but not least, always cool, you get two super battle droids, but they are very difficult to stand up, I must say that. And you know how they work, um, how they look, and yeah. So, pretty simple, pretty cool. And you also get... Another one. Okay, so let's get started with the homing spider droid. Uh, it's very cool. Um, so let's get started with our mini one, our little baby version, you could say. <laughs> and so this is him. And you got a clear piece that helps stand him up on the bottom. And you can place his legs down on the ground. Flat and... Yeah, it looks pretty cool. You can move the legs up and down and everywhere else you like. And you've got this bit that you can move um, forward, um, up and down. Like, you can aim. And you've got a telephone for eyes with just red studs. So it's pretty cool how this is made. And you've got this bit on the top. Which you can swivel around. And yeah, so that is pretty cool. Uh, so that's nice to get one of those mini ones. And let me just show you the whole homing spider. Um, this is the big one, the main one. And I move our mini figs out the way. And I must say, it is very difficult to stand up properly. Um, in a full, in once in a full moon, you can, in a blue moon, you can get this standing out properly. 
Um, but as you can see, you've got four legs. Um, you've got this little talent to it on the bottom here. And they do um, jump up and go down. So, um, when you put it in, when you put it down, and, yeah. And the, the, the top bit where the gun can, gun comes off um, pretty easily as well. So that's a bad thing, <laughs> a negative. Um, but here is the feet. This is what it lands on. You can swivel it around and everything. And then you get the extensions, and um, then you get up to these technique pieces, which are these bits. And you can swivel them around as well. So you can swivel these around, and you can make the landing proper. And yeah, so it's very fidgety. Um, but anyway, here's the talent down below and you can swivel it up and down if you want. So you get a nice little talent there. And here's the bottom, you get a little wire attached to it. And so that is very nice. And you've got this piece that can swivel around as well, 360 degrees. It's just got like three uh, studs there to look like eyes, and I think they move up and down. They may not, may do. Anyway, I'll just turn this around, and so that spins around, but th this bit and that bit does not. Um, so yeah, it's like a big ball um, with things coming out of it. And, yeah, so I'll quickly show you the top. And, yeah, um, so this is the top. You've got, like, a little cannon there, and you've got a wire attached to the back. And this is actually a flick-fire missile, if you didn't realise. And it's... Yeah, flick fire missile in disguise, and what you do is, of course, you just pew, push it out, and that's your very long flick fire missile, and you can just pop it back in, and yeah, so it's very cool. Um, it can. The negative about it is that it does not stand up properly. Um, but on a good day it can, a good day it can't. So, yeah, it can stretch out very well. And, yeah, so it's, um, pretty cool. And, um, yeah, so thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.